Howdy, bright and early. Well, it's almost 11. Not so early. It's bright out here. So anyway, I buy old records, and I'm Max Stevens, and uh, thanks for coming along on the trip. Let me back that out a bit. You don't need to be looking at my nose all the time. I'm going out to uh, a friend's house to look at some records. Old Dennis up here. I'm going to see what he's got. He'll give me a holler sometimes when things come in. Yeah, it bugs me when I come back home to the flatlands of mesquite scrub after being in places, you know, like the uh, hilly area, hill country of Texas, or maybe out in East Texas and such. We've got a little hill over there, but any hills we got around here are landfills. Yeah, they'll pop up and get big and such, and yeah, that, that, that's our mountains we have here. We have good records though, so I'm not gonna complain too bitterly. Well, all right, almost to their destination. It's a private home, but I might go ahead and see if I can do a little video of going through the records and such. We'll just see. I hate to intrude. Well, here I is, and uh, I've got a lot of records to look for. So uh, let's get stuck in. There's a Elvis Presley himself. All right. I've looked and picked out a good handful there. And then he says, I've got a few more records. Oh my. My wife thought she, we were going to get home a good hour. Maybe by spring. Well, that was fun. And I found some stuff. I've got a little stack I'll show you pretty soon. Maybe we'll start even putting up a, a list of records found, notable records I found on a trip. Just so you can see what I've picked up. We're, we're, we're doing this, uh, trying to figure out the best way to serve you fine folks out there. I always like going by Dennis's place. He's a nice guy. He prices his stuff fair. Leaves some on the bone for me. He's just an all around good guy. So many record people aren't. Uh, I've never met a bad record person though, of course, but I've heard things like that. Uh, I don't know what they say about me. Well, all right, I've consulted our trusty map in Google, and I figured, let's go hit an antique mall that I haven't been to uh, in quite a while, and maybe we'll see some other stuff along the way. Now we're just free-balling it. Maybe we'll find something, maybe not. Of course, you know me, I'm hoping we do. It's just better that way. All right, a little more picturesque area. And uh, there's your old barn building there, and. I always see barns like that and I wonder, what's in there? You might see beauty in an old barn. I always wonder, what's inside? I know there's not much probably in those houses. So I won't go door to door there. You really can't go door to door anymore anyway. That's uh, not a safe thing to do. So I've got some uh, cool stuff planned coming up uh, for this year and such. Um, I will be doing some record shows. I've got one coming up locally in Dallas in a couple of weeks or so. I've got the Austin record show coming up. We showed that last time around and folks seem to enjoy it. And it's, it's a lot of good stuff there. You never know what you're going to find. And of all the times I've done it, I think I've only had one show I could term as a bad show. Just, you know, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was that Ebola thing came through or something, but we just didn't have a lot of people show up. Do a little looking in Argentina this year, too. That's going to be nice. We've got a uh, host of surprises and good things for you. If you'll just stick around. Oh, like I always say, too, subscribe. If you're watching this and you like it, you want to ride with me some more, subscribe. All right, let's keep going. I think we're just about there. Yay! And there it is. Well, guess what? I don't remember this place. I just looked on Google and found it. Let's not get hit by this car. Yay, we didn't get hit. We'll go in and wander around a little bit. Got to get Carrie Rebel back in good time because she's got to do her radio show. She does a great rockabilly radio show called Let's, Let's Rock, Rock Tonight. Tonight. Check that out. That's on rockabillyradio.net. My show's on there there. It's on there as well. I mean, it's called In the Groove. And I do a more crappier version of what she does. So let's go in, 
check it out. I am very delighted as I've never been to this one. I think they had moved from where they were previously. And it's been a while since I've been here. So this always delights me to find a place that I haven't been before. Hmm. And I like that it's not all neat and orderly. I like my junk stores and, and uh, antique malls on the junky side. Vintage clothing. I don't want to get into vintage clothing. I'm a hefty person. And it seems like the clothing that I like from years gone by don't turn up in hefty sizes. Well, all right, we've got 45s. Two dollars each isn't bad though. Maybe one thing will turn up. Oh, and one thing has turned up. Dean Beard, Hardy Party. I like that, that's welcome. But it also tells me maybe nobody's come through here and looked. And Johnny Horton doing some rockabilly. That's another good indication. Uh, Great Balls of Fire, Jerry Lee, but it's, no, it's too rough, but always nice to see a Sun record. And a second copy, Johnny Cash. Yeah, they're just too rough for me to pick up. So, I'm very happy with what I found so far, but greedy like I am, I want more. Normally I prefer looking at records not in sleeves because the older stuff has a bigger chance of not being in a sleeve anymore. But in this case, the better stuff is uh, sleeved up. Who'd have thunk it? Of course, the record gods would bless me with a Elvis on Sun or something. I've got to check one on Pop Psych in just a moment. Jan and Dean, Jeanette, get your hair done. So let me see where that was again. I can't remember which version of this is the hard one, but one of them is Jan. Dean Jeanette. We'll see what the internet says about this one. Yeah, I'll get it. It's decent. Well, we did all right there. Um, I'll show you what we've picked up so far. We've got Baby Talk by Jan and Dean, but it's on the first label, a little harder to find. Johnny Horton, good bass slapper. Hot guitar by uh, Grady Martin, upright bass by Bill Black of Elvis's band, Honky Tonk Man. Then, yeah, here we go, the aforementioned Party Party by Dean Beard. He was from Coleman, Texas. Rockabilly that's just about signed with Sun Records, and then that went south for some reason. And uh, one of those sound-alike labels that has uh, kind, kind of neat stuff recorded down at Starday Records. And these are ghost versions of hit songs, but there's I'm Coming Home by Tex Cotton. That's actually, I think, that is uh, Hal Harris. Hot Bopping Gospel, I Know the Lord Will Stand By Me by Peanut Faircloth. Hot piano and uh, guitar. Got a few Elvises. They're, for the most part, reissues of some material. Yet another copy of Gene Summers, Nervous. Slim Harpo. This is kind of neat. Run Center Run by the Stereos. I don't know what year that's from, but it's just a really good record. Uh, this is fun. Marker 593 out of Gladewater. Danny Barrett. It's a uh, amphetamine-fueled uh, trucking song. Really, really kind of neat. 
Meatballs and Spaghetti by the Wheels, kind of a funk instrumental, Texas. Sam the Sham, Haunted House, first label. Here's the best one so far, though. Route 66, Texas uh, uh, Garage by the Visions. That's really hot stuff there. Kind of a neat uh, rockabilly thing on this side. Fun funny feeling by Wayne Cochran. And uh, I gotta take all the notes off from the previous owner. Uprising by the Cherokees. That's one that always sells well. Same thing here. The Uptowners, a bit of garage. I'm not sure there. Orbison's Ooby Dooby. Another copy of Tommy Hudson on White Rock. Rockabilly, Where the Rio de Rosa Flows, Jimmy Lloyd, and Zombie Jamboree, a Calypso thing by, well, King Flash Calypso Carnival. Gotta go find a snack though. This keto diet is kicking us around right now. So we'll see you in a bit.